Building topical authority will help you to secure the top rankings for your intended keywords and better still, help you to consolidate those rankings over time. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a simple, effective, and very quick process that will help you to get this established on your Rank and Rent website or sites. So if this term is new for you, I'm just gonna to briefly touch upon what it is. It's essentially how the algorithm classifies your site and ascertains whether you really are a trustworthy expert in your particular niche or industry. Now it's, it's achieved by essentially creating comprehensive and relevant content that meets search intent. And it's the kind of content that the algorithm expects to see on a site in your industry. So it may be that your competitors are doing this. It may be that they're not and you can use that to your advantage. Now, I'm not gonna go into it much further than that. This resource by Ahrefs, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to go over there and read it. I'd strongly recommend just reading through it. It's, it's one of the best resources that I've found on Topical Authority, exactly what it is, how to implement it on your site most effectively. But it is just on SEO in general. It's not tailored towards rank and rent, and that's what I want to get to in this video. So what I'm sharing with you now is an example of how we can build topical authority on a rank and rent site from an architecture perspective. So bear in mind, this is something that I typically build out on my sites. There's a lot of nuances involved here, okay? And it's important to know that just like SEO, um, there's loads of factors involved with ranking, including there's obviously a whole off-page SEO uh, process that you need to go through. This is just the on-page SEO um, aspect that you need to consider. And this is a variation of it. There's other SEOs out there that do things differently. I'm gonna show you what has worked for me and what I recommend. It also is typically all that you need for kind of lower competition, local SEO based um, keywords, projects, etc. So, what I'm showing you here is essentially how we can build our site. And I'm gonna be showing you how you can pretty much create this map yourself very, very shortly. So as you can see here, this is the homepage. Now, under this level, you would typically have the navigational toolbar, which would link through to various different pages on your site. So it could be like meet the team about us. I'm not gonna focus on those kind of pages in this particular uh, topical map. I just wanna show you the other kind of pages that you need to create for the, the kind of topical authority that we're looking to build. So at the top, we have our homepage. Now the example I'm giving you in this video is Tree Surgeon London. So that would be the niche and location that we're targeting, okay? And I'll use that as the example for the rest of this video. Now that would be the core pillar service. So that's ultimately what our business is all about, getting leads for tree surgery jobs in London. I'm gonna focus on all of London um, at this particular moment. But of course, there are nuances. If you're looking to do this yourself, obviously this would be your niche and this would be your location. You could even go uh, more granular. It could be something like North London as an example. So we'd build our homepage and then what we'd essentially do is in the navigational toolbar, you should have a link to various different service pages. Now the service pages that we would need in this particular industry are services like tree removal and stump removal and hedge trimming. Now there's various others, but I've just built this as simplistic as possible. And you'll notice that links go from the homepage to the service pages. Now we can do that in the navigational um, toolbar, but we could also do this within the body of the content on the homepage as well. It's always recommended, okay? Um, now there's, in terms of linking, I'll talk about this as we go through this video, but linking is so important for various different reasons. Firstly, it's, um, it's all about kind of indexing and crawlability so that the search algorithms can find your content. But it's also really important for kind of sending um, juice and authority around your site. So it's really, really important for that as well. There's various different, and also from a user experience as well. So there's lots of different um, benefits and, and reasons why you want to do the interlinking. And these arrows represent the interlinking. I just want to kind of get that up, get that over to you up front. Now, what we've done here is we've created little clusters, they're called topic clusters, around each service page. So if you were to look at each art, at set of articles, so there's three articles in this cluster um, for this particular service and then you've got a further three for the second service, you get the idea. Now, how many you're going to need is gonna depend, depend on the niche, 
um, the kind of keywords you're going after, how competitive it is. Also, as I say, there's off-page SEO. This isn't gonna be the only thing that you need to do, but it's one huge part of it. Do this and you've really got a lot of your on-page uh, in place. But yeah, th th this shows the interlinking. So from the service page, we would link through to these kind of uh, blog articles and the blog articles would link to and from each one another. And also they'd link back to the service page. Now, one kind of other link that you want to introduce, which we ha I haven't put on here, purely because I couldn't get the arrow to, to look good without it kind of working, um, is you'd want to link from each article back to the homepage as well. So we're just trying to create this web, okay? If you can imagine a web, and just getting around the site is really easy and all the resources kind of link through to the right places. But I'll show you how to create this interlinking very, very shortly. Now, the other kind of notes, if you haven't read this uh, while I've been talking, is you do need to identify your core pages uh, and what you want to rank for. And essentially what you want to do is funnel the authority there. So one thing I haven't mentioned up till now is if you create a site with this kind of structure, if you were to get a backlink via um, maybe you know, you got that naturally, or maybe even you went out and proactively built that, you know, maybe you had to exchange some funds to do that. Let's just say you built that to article one. Well, if you've got your interlinking in place, you can funnel authority, say, back to the service page. Now it's a service page that you're probably, well, you are more likely going to want to rank than an article. The article is for topical authority purposes. Of course, they can bring in traffic and leads indirectly, but they're not kind of high transactional in that respect. So. The, no, the home page is probably your core page that you want to rank, and then you also want to rank your service pages as well. High transactional. So if we can get kind of backlinks here and have our links set up correctly, we are funneling that link juice and equity back to the main pages, which will help their ranking. That's what I'm essentially trying to get at here. Now, remember that no page on your site wants to be orphaned. So orphaned basically means you've got no links going to it. Okay, it's not good from an algorithmic perspective. In an ideal world, two to three clicks at most from the home page is best. So you may need to set up your, um, you know, links to from from various pages within pages, if that makes sense, to, to to enable that. But it's also the navigational toolbars, the 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 header and the footer toolbar that you can do that as well. When I say footer, I mean kind of primary navigation. I should be that's the kind of terms I'm looking for. You also want to consider your anchor text. Now you, in terms of optimization, you probably don't want to over optimize and use the same. Um, anchor text every single time, but you do want it to be quite descriptive of what you're looking to rank. So as an example, in article one, if we were linking back to the homepage, we may want to say something like best tree surgery service in London. It's very specific. It has the kind of core keywords and terms semantically, but it's not exact. You can use exact, but probably you probably don't want to overdo it, okay? I'm just giving you best practices here, okay? Now, how, yeah, I've mentioned this so far, how much content you need, will vary by niche and keyword and competition. This is on page, you could have this all set up optimally, but you may need to do the off page stuff to get the traction you need. Obviously local SEO is typically less competitive. It could be that this is enough to give you the top rankings that you're looking for. So I've mentioned that at the bottom here. So how did I get to this? Well, I actually have just built this based on my experience and knowledge, but I'm now gonna be showing you a process that you can follow um, to get to this if you haven't done this before or don't really know what, what to do. So what I've done here is I've essentially, I've put in a series of prompts and I've put them all ahead of time so you don't have to sit and watch me type it out. Um, and I'll walk you through what the different elements of the prompts are and things like that. Now I have made all of these prompts available for instant download. There'll be a link in the description below for that if you wanna pick it up as well. You don't have to sit here, pause the video and type it out manually. You can access this all for free. So as I say, link in the description below. Uh, for that. Now, the other thing I want to mention at this point is someone in my community, really good guy, provided some initial prompts just like this. I spent some time kind of refining them and updating them to, to get them to work for me and my kind of example here and how you can use it yourself. Now, his prompts work really, really well. No knock on him. I really appreciate him sharing them in the community, but I just want to give some, some credit to Alan for doing that. So top, top guy sharing some good stuff in the community. Anyway, back to the video, let's, let's work through this prompt. So the first thing that I've done here is I've said, can you access, read and analyze this document? And I've, you, I've referenced the Ahrefs document that I pretty much discussed at the top. Now, by doing this, it's gonna pull all of this information in and just kind of seed and prime uh, ChatGPT accordingly. Now we don't have to use ChatGPT for all of this as I'll show you shortly, but it works really, really well for this kind of thing. Now I am on the paid 
paid plan, which enables me to do this. If you're not on the paid plan, then what I would suggest that you do is, can you analyze this information, colon, and then just copy and paste all of this? So do this, control C, go into chat with GPT, can you access, uh, read and analyze this information, semicolon, and then control V and just paste it. That would be your first prompt, okay? But anyway, I've gone for the link um, because obviously I can. And basically it then says, this article from Ahrefs explains topical authority and SEO concept, and it basically explains that it understands it. So this has just given me some indication that we're ready to go ahead. Now here's the next part. This is where we build our topical map. This is a really, really good prompt, which I suggest that you use. Use the information provided in the provided URL document above. I've replicated the word provided, but it doesn't matter. You are an SEO and ex, uh, you're an SEO and copywriting expert and specialist with over 30 years of practical experience ranking websites and creating compelling, engaging content that gets businesses leads and customers. We're priming the tool. We're giving them an understanding. We're giving the we're giving the the AI an understanding of the persona we want it to embody here. It's really important we get this in, okay? If you don't do this, your output's gonna be much less effective. You have an advanced knowledge of the search engine algorithms. Help me develop a comprehensive topical map with content clusters, so it's really important terminology we get this in here, for my website that maximizes my chances of ranking for long tail keywords with high search volume, specifically related to my primary keyword phrase, and this is when you put in your niche and location. So as an example, to follow on the example already given, tree surgery, London. Provide me with a step-by-step -step action plan of pages to create and in what order. So we're just making this as easy as possible for us. I want three levels of clusters, home page, cluster one. So let's go back here, home page, cluster one, which is that line if you, if you can imagine, and then cluster three, which is the content here. That is cluster three, that's cluster two, and let's imagine this is just the kind of core page, okay? For the articles, provide a list of 10 highly relevant article topics per service cluster to build topical authority for each and prioritize transactional intent topics. Make the articles location specific, e.g. London, and focus on articles that will give you maximum chance of ranking and getting traffic. Now, the reason why I'm putting this at the bottom is in an ideal world, we would be ranking for blog content that can also get us queries and leads. That's why I've put this in here. So there's almost like a dual purpose to it. Topical authority one and two, hopefully to get some leads which that we can then ultimately sell on to business owners in some kind of way. Here is the output. Step-by-step -step action plan for Tree Surgery London. Homepage. It's given us the title, Tree Surgery Services in London, Professional Tree Surgeons. We might want to optimize that further, but it's a really, really good base start. Content focus, overview of services, highlighting expertise, certification, and areas served in London. So that's really important. Gives us an idea of what we want to include on the homepage if you haven't already. This is the first thing we need to build, it makes sense. And it gives us a goal. Now, here's where things get really, really interesting. Now, chances are, if you're entering a niche or you've had conversations with business owners, which I recommend first, that you know what service pages you need to build. But there may be some that you overlook, or you may be in a niche where it's not kind of obvious and kind of um, available to you, or it can just make your site become more authoritative because you can include services that you might not actually want to, um, or that you might not have considered, as I say. So primary service pages, tree pruning London, tree removal London, stump grinding London, emergency tree surgery London, hedge trimming London. Now, if we go back to what I created before, interestingly, tree removal London, stump removal London, hedge trimming London. By the way, I created this ahead of putting this prompt into ChatGPT. Honestly, honestly, I did. Um, but yeah, it's interesting that we've got an overlap here. Now, one other thing that's the beauty of using a, a prompt like this is stump grinding is technically the industry term. Now, I put in mine, I put stump removal. So this is where it can be really valuable as well because you can pick up on some of these valuable terms, niche specific terms, which are really important for semantics and just making sure that your site has all the kind of terms that the algorithm ex expects to see. It gives us a content strategy. Each page should focus on the service, benefits, process, and why your company is the best choice in London. Really good advice. Internal links, link these pages to the home page and interlink between them where relevant, as I've shown you thus far. Cluster two articles. Now this is where things get really, really interesting. Articles for each service page, 10 topics each. Now I put that in my prompt. We could have 20 articles. We could have put 20 in here. We could have 30, 40, whatever you want. It could have been five. It's up to you, but 10 is a good place to start. So for tree pruning, benefits of regular tree pruning in London, urban's environment. How seasonal changes affect tree pruning in London. Top five tree species in London and their pruning needs. You see how this has got all of the kind of semantic terms that 
the algorithm is going to be looking for. It's all about tree pruning. It's also specifically about London. So it's really kind of geographically based content. That's really, really good because as an example, if we look at article one, tree pruning in an urban environment might be very, very different than the countryside somewhere else in the UK. So this is where things get a little bit interesting. It's done this for all of them. Okay, so we've got, we have essentially, because we've got five different service pages, we've ultimately got 50 different blog content ideas that we can write. And these are all kind of um, high transactional as we've asked for, and also likely to have a good search volume and things like that. So it ticks a lot of boxes, okay? It's also great if you don't have access to a tool like Ahrefs. Then it goes on, so it does that for obviously every, every uh, service page. Then it goes on to say content creation order, homepage first, service pages one, which is cluster one, prioritize tree pruning, then tree removal, stump grinding, emergency surgery, and head trimming. Interesting why it's going for tree pruning first. Probably more demand than tree removal. Very, very interesting. Article, which you probably wouldn't know unless you're talking to business owners or you've been in the industry for a while. It's these kind of insights that these prompts help with. Articles, cluster two, start with articles for tree pruning. So it's, it's focusing your time and attention on the most valuable um, things first, followed by tree removal and so forth, ensuring internal linking to the relevant service page. And then it's given us some ongoing optimization tips. So this is the first start, that's one step, but this is where we can take it to the next level. We are not finished yet. We can then create the articles. Now I covered this process somewhat in a video I released earlier on the channel about um, the latest Google search algorithm uh, update and how for rank and sites, there's a golden opportunity to create informational content and perhaps even start making some money from uh, advertising because they are starting to favor local service business based sites in the algorithm. So if you haven't watched that video and perhaps you wanna go back, but nevertheless, here is a similar process. If you watch that video, then you might understand this prompt already because it's very, very similar. But this is an optimized prompt to create one of the articles. So I'm gonna go into ChatGPT now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste this in. So now write the article. Now what you would do is it says tree pruning, didn't it? That was the recommendation. So I'm gonna use this here. So I'm gonna press Control C. Now write the article and I'm gonna put that in those quotation marks there. Benefits of regular tree pruning in London's urban environment. And then what we've got here, if I press shift and enter, I'm just gonna break it up a little bit. Remember you are, I've given it another, um, I've given it uh, a, a reminder of what we're looking for and who we are, just in case, you know, sometimes when you use these AI tools, you kind of go off on a tangent and it kind of forgets its history. I'm just putting it back in its mindset. Remember you are SEO and copyright expert with over 30 years of practical experience. We've already had that included. Now here comes on to the article. Write 1500 words on the topic. I want you to follow the best on-page practices to help ensure I rank at the top of the search engines, preferably Google for this search query. Sound like an authority, write in short, simple sentences and sound like a human at all times. Start with an engaging hook to help the visitor feel as if they're in the right place. Leverage stories and anecdotes where suitable and possible to make the content unique and then, and that relates specifically to the article topic or title. Keep paragraphs short, two, three at most. Use H2s and H3s to break up the content accordingly. Make it the most useful content possible. Use bolding and other formatting to aid the copy and highlight important aspects and parts. Now, the reason why I've gone into so much detail in this prompt is because we just want to copy and paste this article as, as best as we can uh, onto our site. And that is why we've done it, all right? So if we look here, it's creating this article. So the other thing that I'm gonna do, by the way, is I'm gonna copy and paste this. This is where you might want to deviate a little bit and enter another tool. I'm gonna to use Claude. I really like Claude. I think it produces better quality content. I've been using it a lot more in my business. So what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna copy and paste it in here. And I'm just gonna say, not now, I'm gonna say, write the article. And then I'm gonna take your ember out. You are, so that's all I need to do, a few subtle changes there, and I'm gonna hit go. And while that's going, I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT, and then we can quickly compare the differences in the content. Now you could use ChatGPT for all of this. Obviously you've got the, um, you're, you're leveraging the existing chat, there's benefits in doing that. But let me just, I, th I think Claude, at the moment, time of recording, I think Claude's better for this particular use case, and I'm preferring its output at the time of recording. But anyway, Let's have a quick look at it. You're in the right place. Here's why regular tree pruning in London matters. So we've got things like the keyword there, nice. Living in London, you know how much we value our green spaces from the majestic trees to the cozy gardens and hackney. So it's got, it's got, look, it's got, it's got 
semantically related, you know, these are places. So this is really, really good. This is what we kind of want. But did you know that regular tree pruning is key to maintaining these urban oasis? Whether you're a homeowner, fantastic. So this looks great. Is it 1500 words? I don't know, I'm not gonna plug this into at all at the moment, but it looks really, really good, okay? This looks great right off the bat. It's broken up into really nice little sections. We've got like bullet points. This looks really, really good. So you're gonna to need to, to do a little bit of editing probably on this. For instance, probably just wipe out the word conclusion, but there's things you're probably gonna to wanna to do to this. As an example, you're gonna to wanna to get some interlinks in here. You're gonna to have to do that manually anyway. We can embed that into our prompting, but I'm not gonna show you that in this video because I think this video is going on for too long. If we go back to Claude, let's have a look at what's happened. So, let's see what it's done. Picture this, you're strolling through Hyde Park on a crisp autumn morning. The leaves are turning gold and the air is filled with an earthy scent of fall. Suddenly, a gust of wind sends a massive branch crashing to the ground to meet its way. Your heart races and you realise how close you came to danger. This scenario is just a dramatic opening. It's a very real possibility in London's urban landscape. Re regular tree pruning isn't just about aesthetics, it's a matter of public safety and urban health. Why London trees need our attention? The top five benefits of regular tree pruning. So what I'm showing you here is, look how different it is first and foremost. I think this is a little bit more, it's a bit more kind of copywriting-esque. If we go back to ChatGPT, I, I mean, I, I use these tools quite a lot. So I think I can kind of see this is more AI-like. Whereas, don't get me wrong, there are elements of this we need to update, but I quite like this version, just skimming it very, very quickly. Ultimately, what I'm trying to say to you, leverage both tools, see what you like more, go with ChatGPT, go with Claude, it doesn't, it does matter, obviously, but you know, ultimately, this is for topical authority and you're gonna to need to make some probably manual edits anyway. So you're gonna to have to choose one. Essentially what I'm getting to is you could you could sit here, try and compare them all day. We could copy this and say, optimize this in Claude and vice versa. You know, we can do things like that, but ultimately you need to make a decision on what you prefer and you just need to get it on the site. This is all about speed, it's all about time, it's all about execution. So that's essentially this prompt. Now don't worry, we are getting near the end of this video. The last thing that we can do is we can put something like this prompt in. I'm just gonna show you in ChatGPT for the purpose of time. Now write SEO optimized and intriguing meta information for this article. Suggest a new keyword focused H1, create a meta description, suggest meta keywords. Now I've also put a few things in here like 55 characters in length, 120 characters in length. We don't want each of these to be truncated. So for instance, if you were to write a title that's longer than 55 or 60 characters, it's gonna get broken and the visitor's not gonna be able to see or the searcher is not gonna be able to see the full title. So I've just put in a few little caveats here to help with that. Same for the meta description. And I'm also gonna get some meta keywords as well. So I'd literally press this at this point and it's gonna do each one. So maximize tree health with regular pruning in London. Meta description, discover the benefits of regular tree pruning in London, to enhance tree health, safety and property value. And then we've got a load of meta keywords, fantastic. If you're using something like, um, Rank math, you could use more than one. I think Yoast, you are limited to one, but you might be in a different plugin anyway. So that's how I would do it. And then at this point, you just go back and you've got one article, you'd obviously copy and paste it onto your site, you'd publish it, you'd make all the adjustments, you know, the, the SEO stuff, sorry, I've got a squeaky chair. Um, and you'd obviously, you'd make the interlinking, you'd go through that process as well. At which point you can revert back to this chat, save it, go back to your history. Why don't I say save it? It will save it automatically. Log into your account, come back here, and then you'd literally just do something like this. Now write the article and then you'd go back to your list and you could just do something like, we could literally move to, uh, yeah, this one. Now you might want to document this somewhere, what you've written already. You might want a spreadsheet or something like that, but that's essentially how you do it. So you'd then do this, and then you can do the meta description prompt and so on and so forth. You can do this in Claude, you get the idea. That's how we can quick, quickly and effectively create the content that the algorithm is expecting to see on our site and also high quality content that could even start generating us leads. At which point it is all a matter of interlinking. You can then, you can build something out like this. You could, another thing you can do is you could then say, I. so let me just show you actually. I have written all the articles. Da, 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 da. Shift, enter, enter, control V. Suggest the interlinking I need to set up between them. Suggest anchor text, you know, that kind of thing. That's how you can take this to the next level. You know, things like this. 
So I hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. Ultimately, you wanna get a web of all of the most important service pages and content clusters specific to your niche. If, you're, if you talk to business owners ahead of this process, it can dramatically improve your chances of this um, being as effective as possible. But otherwise, you really can lean onto these AI tools. They do such a good job if you get your prompting right. As I say, if you want access to these prompts, link in the description below. I think I've already said it, but if I haven't, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or down below. With that said, best of luck, and I hope you have an excellent day.